Hey, hello and welcome back. GCU, our 0 and 5 squad as of right now, looking for their first match win of the regular season. Southern Miss looking to improve from their 3 and 3 record, go above 500. FBI Tugboat here with Fiat. Fiat, you with me? I am with you. I'm with this game right now. Game 1, GCU, Southern Miss. A good matchup. Both these teams trying to find something good in this end, near the end of the season. And now Zach. 50 with Brock. It's going to be super big seed now on the shadow defense. A bit awkward right now for GCU, but they are able to take enough time to give them a good clear zap. A bit too far out. And now it's going to be Astro with a good clear back. Nando, though, up in the air. Super Big Steve on the backboard. Might be a shot that's going to bounce really high for all of GCU. Not going to be perfectly on net. Ooh. Almost a double, Whoa. but it's saved last second. Rocket Leaguer basketball, that ball was dribbling right out there in front of the goal. Dangerous situations, but pressure somewhat alleviated for the Southern Miss squad. A great redirect behind, and Froppy realizes the danger of this one and sends it to the corner and out. Back in an awkward position, it's going to be Nando with the oh. instant shot. Bottom okay. right, Nando getting the lead for GCU here. Zath was backwards, hits into a backwards flip, and just loses possession completely of the ball. No one back on the Southern Miss side. A good start for GCU in this game one. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep up that momentum. That's what they're looking for right here at this kickoff. A bit slow roller towards Melodic. Melodic able to get the thing out. Now Nando with the possession on his own side. Maybe over one. Leaving that for Froppy though. It's going to be a bit of a light touch. Rolling up the corner of Southern Miss. Southern Miss on their own backward. Looking for the pitch. Looking for a clear. A 50 from Super Big Steve. Going to go straight back to Zath. And Nando with the 50. Looking a bit aggressive right now on GCU. Trying to up the pace right now. Yeah, so GCU doing a fantastic job on offense, not just maintaining possession, but again, peppering this backboard and net with shots upon shots. Southern Miss forced to act upon almost all of them, Ooh. as that's going to be not an ideal situation. GCU members meeting in the air. It's like going all the way up like swans, but this ain't synchronized Rocket League. This is uh, one man for the job and a single shot that was all that was necessary right there. Ooh, almost a shot opportunity for Ooh. Southern Miss. It's going to be converted anyway. Zap, yeah. able to get the rebound from Misery. Misery tried to shoot that, but it was just going to be a bit of a back pass. But if it works, it works. And Zath able to put the shot around two defenders right next to each other. <laughs> no, no, super big Steve. Not really able to find what they were looking for. Southern Miss ties up the game. 254 left. They called it not synchronized Rocket League. Those guys were jumping is synchronized. Super Big Steve almost walks this one all the way in on from kickoff. But defender, uh, wonky as it may have been, it was the movement that was necessary. Blocked it away and now Southern Miss on the offensive. Tie game though in seven seconds outside of halftime. 50 mid pass. Asher not able to make contact. It's going to be sent to the right side. Nando now with a little bit of possession. Going to be insta challenged by Melodic. Melodic to Zap. Zap off the backboard. Maybe the double tap might be on. Not going to be put towards the net. GCU comes out mostly unscathed after that situation. But now on the side wall, it's going to be Astro again trying to find something. But the rebound doesn't really go his way. Super Big Steve able to take that back into the corner. Froppy, good hit. Gets it over Zach. It's going to be Melodic keeping this in. 15 boost, maybe a little bit of possession. Maybe the dunk. Nando, another clear out. GCU, bit stuck on their side right now. Not able to find... A massive clear. Southern Miss doing a really good job of keeping up that pressure. Almost on net. Almost an own goal, actually. Froppy able to get a decent touch. A bit of luck, but also a bit of mastery right there. Yeah, seriously, that, that was uh, almost a way too many cooks in the kitchen type situation. That one lofted across and then cleared huge factors by Froppy. Send this one back on over, and GCU looking to get something going on the offensive. Their offensive outside of the first 45 seconds or so, Fiat, has looked anemic, and they got to get this cooking and eat a solid meal. <laughs> yes, it looks like they are cooking a little bit right oh, here. Zeth with the beautiful pass from Melodic, just shooting that in, and Melodic just able to see that bit of open space. Nando jumps so early. Super Big Steve also has to commit because he knows that Nando isn't in any position to help him out right there, but it doesn't work out well. Southern Miss with the one goal lead, 120 into this, getting the kickoff. It's going to be Froppy though. Froppy with the shot Whoa. and the instant okay. recovery, instant kickoff goal for GCU, <laughs> able to tie that up immediately. 
There might be four total scores in this game, but we have spent all of like 30 seconds outside of a tied situation, maybe, Fiat. Back to the tie we go. No real advantage here in game one of this best of five from Grand Canyon University and the Southern Miss Eagles. With non notes to the sidewall, but Froppy trying to get the beat almost on net. A little bit of an inch coming out from Astro. Able to take that possession beat. So one now on the ground. Gets it over another midfield to the right. No one's there. You're asking, where's that second man? A bit too far out. Melodic a bit scared to go on here. Doesn't have a great read on the defensive play. Super Big Steve able to take advantage of that with the dunk. Now Zath in his own corner. Maybe a 50 0 boost, though. Shot oh, for Nando. Boy. Nando able to take the lead. Unfortunate series of events for Southern Miss. I'm not 100% sure what Melodic is doing, but the fault it lays with them regardless comes off of the side right here and plays net instead of ball. Uh, th th this is pre jump territory, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you jump off of you jump off a wall and get this interrupted instead of just giving up an, a shot opportunity and, and a chance for this ball to go to some places you simply cannot block it from. Yeah, it's just, it was just a really awkward rotation, and it is going to cost them that tied game. Astro, though, trying to get this back. Melodic, maybe, with the rebound on the double. Maybe a shot coming out. Top right, almost, just off the corner. It's an unfortunate shot, but very good placement regardless. Southern Miss now trying to get into their element. Eight, 17 seconds left into this match. Looking for something good, maybe a big clear coming out. Melodic has to read it off the ceiling. Might be a shot, but it's going to be too far right. Maybe the oh. double almost into the pinch. And Zeth, wow. five seconds left, ties it up. Caps off into the ring, people. That's a hat trick here from Zath. Uh, assists have spread across pretty freaking well for Southern Miss. Grand Canyon University has gotten a lot done right here, but now a lead squandered again. Only a lead of one, I suppose. So five seconds we go. We might be seeing overtime in game numero uno. Time. Maybe a little bit of something here. Oh, maybe a lot of something. Is this going to bounce up? No, there you go. Bad, unfortunately. 3-3 three, three, overtime in game one. Immediately starting off with a banger of a match. This might be a oh. kickoff goal, but super <laughs> okay. big Steve doesn't get the flip that he needed. Unfortunate, but you're still in the game. It's just one missed kickoff. It really doesn't matter too much, hopefully, for GCU. Hopefully my words don't come back to haunt me there, but Zath now up on the possession, trying to take the 50 with Nando, a clear for Astro on the side wall, should have a bit of possession. It's gonna be Froppy with the shutdown, Demo coming out from Nando, getting Melodic off the field right there, almost a push in Froppy, just taking a bit of time right here, maybe a pass to the mid, a pin, ooh, a bit of an odd 50 coming out of pack pass from Super Big Steve, no one's ready, this is in theory an open net, Froppy should be back, but gonna be a bit awkward, a good save coming out from GCU. Yeah, a great read there from Froppy to realize that this bad situation was about to get worse. Don't play ball possession, just get back into your net because this is a defensive stance that you have to assume immediately. Transition of defense into offense, not an open net as Nando comes back for the hero save yet again. Big Steve, a pass to Nando, gonna be center, but Astro gonna be able to get the good catch. It's not gonna be fast enough. A lot of passing that right, Nando up. A good dunk coming out from Melodic. Maybe a pinch to the corner. Midfield, Nando's still lingering there over Astro. Light touch, maybe not exactly what he needed right here. It should be a clear out for Melodic anyways, but they are going to have a bit harder time to work with the space that they do, but a good beat in the middle. Nando, shot opportunity might be open. Froppy double tap oh. maybe? Almost. Nando tries to get that rebound, but isn't able to put it in. A uh, great uh, defense there from GCU follows this one up with uh, a, a situation they're just going way too fast for Froppy. Would have been a little bit slower, would have had control over the car and maybe a little bit more, but in overtime we are still looking at and about Ooh. two minutes in. Ball is up and nobody bites inside. Last oh. player up and it's just too high yet again. Uh, just a bit of a misread from both of the teams, which does happen in Rocket League. Everyone makes mistakes and it looks like they made it. At the same time, there definitely was an open net opportunity there, and I believe the top left, if I'm remembering correctly. But either way, both teams still in this overtime. Two minutes, a pretty sizable overtime, all things considered. Astro on the 50, gonna try to pass this back. It's gonna be Melodic, though, now. Up in the air, on the possession, gets it over Froppy. It's gonna be Nando, putting that back to his backboard. A pass to Super Big Steve, and a good clear Froppy. Up in the air, beat 
by Zath immediately back into the corner of Southern Myths. Gets a beat for Melodic. Zath trying to keep this on their side. Race into the corner, just trying to hit it away from Froppy. Froppy gets that final hit to Super Big Steve. Now on a clear uh, defensive for GCU right now. Another 50 Melodic trying to find anything. This might be a good shot, but it's going to be off the back. Yes, yeah, so, so some awesome pressure, unfortunately, yields not very much. Three minutes of overtime we go. We have more than half of an extra Rocket League game that has expired just here in overtime, people. We were prefacing just how even-handed these two teams might oh! be up and down. <laughs> how did Melodic oh. even find this angle? What was that? Just off the ceiling, instantly reached that. Hits oh. it high, sees it wow. low. Hits it with the sidewall. Oh, my goodness. You can't ask for a better goal than that to end the overtime. Southern Miss taking game one. Oh, my goodness. That was such a beautiful shot. I am in awe right now, Tugboat. A uh, pretty decent high scoring fair, you know, you, uh, three games are always sometimes a bit slower paced just because of how many people are on the field and how many people are in a rotation, so you won't see, it's not going to be like a 7-1, 8-1 blowout like you'll see in a lot of ones games, it's going to be a bit closer, and it, it, that happens with a lot of threes games, again, you know, and Nando now trying to find some sort of possession here off the kickoff, immediately starts the game, Melodic feeling himself, maybe a flip reset dunk! Almost looking spicy. He hasn't lost that confidence just yet. Yeah, it looks like it might have even been two of them or something like that. Melodic put on a clinic at the very last part of some aerial acrobatics that really set on a show. Trying to get that going here in game number two is Gin. Trusting the teammate is Astro. Now brings this one out off the wall is Nando. Nando trying to get it to their teammate, but even with Southern Miss redirecting it, that was almost a really bad position for Froppy. Nando, cue the Jaws music, just bit in at that one as soon as he smelled blood in the water. If you're going to go back into the corner of Southern, miss Nando up early. Maybe a pinch down center. It's going to bounce a bit high, Zach. Good catch into the air. Froppy has to go for that 50. It's back to Astro now. Nando, instant challenge, zero boost. Going to be super big Steve back in his own corner. Gets that full back left. Should have a bit of a possession. An awkward touch, though, coming out from Melodic. This is going to make it harder for GCU. Maybe a ooh, shot on ooh, net. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. They're getting saucy up in here right now. Southern miss looking like they're... For that first goal right now, Nando in the corner trying to put it back on their side. But it's looking so hard right now to convert, and that's a beautiful save from Astro. Yeah, and uh, Astro getting involved, but now, yeah, there's not another <laughs> player back right here, and the writing is on the wall. Nando scores yet again, two in the first, now the only in the second right here. Uh, it is, it is kind of clear cut. Uh, Zat, or excuse me. Melodic now is the offensive powerhouse of Southern Miss. We've really seen them take multiple uh, offensive possessions thus far and try and make that thing work, but Zap game one was Zap. And, and over here for GCU, that is Nando, Nando, and Nando. Here's another Nando, second shot, second goal for Nando. <laughs> uh, that's just a fun name to say, Nando, right? And you're going to see a lot of him in this series. He's one of those high-pressure players. He likes to ramp up that momentum super quickly, put a lot of pressure onto defenses in 2-0 right now for GCU. Looking like they're living up to that title. Nando up on the backboard, tries to get it around one. A good patience from Zath up there onto the backboard. Now a hit, super big Steve. Great little pinch actually. Gonna be a pass to Nando over Melodic. Gonna put Southern Miss back on their side. Gonna need to go back to the drawing board to score this one. A pinch up high over Melodic. This is gonna be awkward. Maybe the dunk from Nando. That was too close for comfort for Southern Miss. Yeah, definitely, definitely was. Close, fast, in your face. That's been the game that Nando has been playing. This is a little bit too far on the back pass. If Froppy still is able to get a handle on top of it, is not able to stop Southern Miss from getting into the offensive scoring oh. position, and Astro makes that thing sing. I think this was an own goal, if I'm correct. The ball had a blue trail. He gets a 50. Nando's there. Tries to fake one out. It's going to be Froppy oh, instantly okay, shooting. Okay. He tries to go for the 50. Fake, though, just leaves that net open. No one's really going to be able to expect that. 2-1 Southern Miss game is still close. It might be able to take this game to in the series exactly what they want. That wants yeah. this goal, but it's not going to be scoreable off the backboard here from GCU. A technical own goal is going to like constitute that, but also was kind of like push into it and in the pursuit of defense. So you know, we, won't, uh, we won't crucify too, too much here. Shot in the corner. Oh, that is just, that is the result of just a really, really 
like bad luck, right? L look at how this ball goes once it actually comes inside. Super Big Steve goes exactly where he needs to, but that's just oh. the perfect angle. Like, if he'd been angled any farther out towards the outside, we'd still be playing this one at a 2-1 scoreline advantage GCU. It's genuinely, like, such a perfect like, shot. Terrible luck, right dude. There. Yeah, terrible uh, luck. Like, like, like a, oh, sorry, I, I should say, you're 100% right. That was slotted perfectly. Super Big Steve is and puts himself exactly where he needs to be, and it's just like terrible, terrible luck that even though he's there, just the angle at which he's turning at the time, right? Yeah, like, it's yeah. just not a physically possible like save, realistically <laughs> for GCU there because you're back post, oh, so you're in the right position, but like such a weird speed. Now Super Big Steve trying to get the scores that instant here off his own backboard probably good 50 super big steve trying to pass this mid they're getting a bit more aggressive right now a bit creative you like to see them get out of the box that wants to put this in the box almost in the net that's going to be a bit too far right nando able to take the possession melodic instant challenge redirect back to the midfield not exactly what he was looking for but it should work out fine because astro's on that backboard good clear southern miss now with a bit of pressure and now pop play up. Members of Southern Miss have had some problems just getting this centered net and trying to swing for the fences on it. But now a little bit of back and forth. Super Big Steve gets hit. Last player back is that. It's an epic save. Definitely deserves it as a double tap goes the way of the ground. Now a little inch, I believe. Are yeah, they going to be able to? Yeah, okay. Nando yeah. definitely be able to get to this. I don't think that was on point anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was off the right. Uh, off the right part right there. Nando did still need to make that touch, though, in order to keep that. He doesn't make that touch. He's probably going to get instant challenge by that first man trying to push for pressure from Southern Miss. But he gets the touch anyway. Now Super Big C with a good first touch onto the backboard. Almost shut down. Five melodic popping in the corner. Maybe a pass to the mid. It's going to be Astro on the rebound on the defensive. Super big Steve. Beautiful dunk almost on melodic. Last second touch to send that out. Southern Miss should have a good opportunity. Passes that mid for Astro. Astro maybe with the shot. It's going to be too high. Nando here back to the left side. Southern Miss still hanging on. He's picking up boost times here for melodic, but a lot of pressure against their squad. 2 2. This is. A similar situation that we just saw, GCU up early, a lead unfortunately slowly squandered, and now overtime doth loom. Second overtime possibly, that's kind of crazy, you don't really see that much in series back-to-back. -back. Overtime, Ooh. oh, I okay. was about to eat my words right there. <laughs> a good shot from Astro, saved well by GCU. Nando trying to put this ball down. He doesn't like that. It's on the blue side right now. Southern Miss, they're comfortable with this, though. That's comfortable with this ball. Flip reset maybe on the net. It's going to be a bit too far. Astro maybe redirect almost. I thought that okay. we were looking at Astro. I thought that was someone from GCU, the way he was positioning right there. Now, oh, the fake off a kickoff, but a well-read defensive block here for the side of Southern Miss. This is going to be up right here. Ooh. Looking for a double tap, Froppy. Definitely, definitely going to read this one out. Makes that one a non-issue. Double demo here for Zath. The hit, Zath up in the air. Maybe a double tap. Maybe a shot opportunity. It is Ooh. bottom right. Astro reads that defense well. Nothing like the game one over time. 25 seconds able to clean it up. That's perfect. Southern Miss right here. What, there was like three minutes plus on the overtime situation. Game number one, Astro shows up into the scoring factors in major, major ways here for Southern Miss. Gets one in regular time and one to close this. Even overtimes notwithstanding. They're playing their same game. It is gaining them a value early. And then again, over the five minute period, that's just slowly, slowly drained away in a battle of attrition that Southern Miss has now won twice. Match point just like that. It may not seem like it, but yeah, Southern Miss is up 2-0. Southern Miss now with the pressure on the off, it's gonna hit straight down. Super Big Steve, a bit of a light touch, but it works out anyway for GCU. Oh, a bit of a whiff there. That's gonna be able to take advantage. Maybe a shot. Ooh, that was honestly a pretty good try. Trying to go for that pick, not looking very readable, although GCU's defense is starting to come back into the play. Nando tries to get that redirect, but it's going to be open as soon as I say that. I really just need to stop saying these kinds of things. <laughs> Zath with the first score for Southern Miss. Nicely done. Nicely done. Zath really showed what they can do in game numero uno. That was the hat trick right there. Now showing up in game three. And arguably it matters most. Zath was devoid from the scoring part, obviously, assists a different story, but devoid from the scoring participation in game number two. 
to see them getting back onto the board. A 45 seconds into this one and off of kickoff. This is just really weird. No players touched this more than twice with their team retaining oh. possession. And now Froppy sends this one way. way higher than even a second net would have gotten into. Okay. Okay, an open net uh, situation squandered. Pos possession just packed back and forth like a hot potato. And, and and look at this. There's not even a GCU member on that side of the pitch. They're just like sending it over and like Red Rover, Red Rover, send this ball right over. And now what you can do with it? Like I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I mean for GCU, it just doesn't seem like they're really playing the team uh, that they need to. They're kind of just a bit too focused on their own mistakes to really figure out what Southern Miss is doing them here and now there's that demo there's that open space this should be a shot opportunity yeah. and it is I... gcu able to convert you needed something right there and you found it with those demos nando again that aggressive plays are going to work out very well for gcu here they got to start sticking to that yeah, I, th I think southern miss can be happy that you cannot get scored on twice within the same goal and you can only <laughs> get one point at a time because they needed this reset right here that that was some of the most uncoordinated we've seen uh, them today and probably even this season for Southern Miss in a situation where they're trying to improve above 500. Another double commit on a defense, whereas they should be running down the field of the ball on the other side. Super Big Steve's now playing something off the wall and now they're forced to 50s. Zath off the backboard, a good 50. This is going to be back on the backboard again. Nando up in the air though with a little bit of possession. Gets bumped though. It's going to be Zath. Your Super Big Steve has the opportunity. Nando should put this in, but it's 50. Oh. Great save. Zath reading the play, doesn't go for that instant save. He waits a little bit, tries to bait Nando out, and is able to get a masterful clear relief. Some of that pressure that Southern Miss is feeling. 100% agreed, 100% agreed. 15 seconds outside of halftime. This, uh, this has been tied more often than not in our regular times outside of overtimes. Back pass attempted here for Grand Canyon University, and then once again, they, they put it over here and everybody else is on that side Ooh. of the squad. Excuse me, Super Big Steve has a fantastic <laughs> opportunity up front and turns this one into gold. Yeah, the, okay, so <laughs> Southern Miss, I uh, gotta say, this is a terrible situation of just putting it against the wall and just kind of eating up time. If this is like way slower, then I could see like th this being like a buy time type of hit, but this is a kickoff goal that are now Goes an overtime situation, going back the other way, and then again, Zath gets two honest shots and misses both. This is an awkward game for both of these teams. This is a right weird now. game, dude. Yeah. This is a weird game. Because like it's like no one is like it feels like we just got, went back to game one where they have not played each other at all, and now they're just like testing the limits, you know, just trying to figure out what's going on. It's just like you just won two games. Like you should be able to get something here, though. Southern Miss, though. Looking a bit back onto the offense. GCU, though, has this possession. It's going to be melodic onto the right wall. Needed a bit of a double. It's going to be Nando Thou off the backboard. Super Big Steve leaves that for an open net for Farapi. Mm. Southern Miss kind of crumbling right here. They were strong backboard defensive. Now it's just gone. Yeah, a, a communication coordination. Something is going wrong over there at Southern Miss. And that has been on display across two goals now here for the run for Grand Canyon University. Not just from the tie, but to take the lead. And now a insurance goal purchase. This is the largest lead we have seen since game number one, uh, a game that went of almost nine total minutes there with overtime included. Bobby tries to get the hit. It's going to be beat by Melodic. Melodic leaving Nando in a bit of a 2v1. He gets under Whoa, Froppy. Okay. Last second comes in. That was a good play coming out from Southern Miss. They're starting to feel themselves just again pass mid to no one. It's going to be a 50 with Astro. Astro trying to push this back onto GCU. Melodic Good 50 in his own corner. Gonna try to hit this left over one. Maybe Nando has to take the 50 with him though. Astro full boost gets beat by Nando instantly. Gonna be in the corner. Super Big Steve looking for the redirect. Not able to find much. Southern Miss now has a bit of time, bit of space right here. Astro should be able to take this in the corner. Maybe a shot, but a 50 inches straight out to the midfield. And what the hero of game number two, Astro, right there, just trying to wait in the wings and look for something. Ooh. This is another shot. Grand Canyon University up by three. I'm going to say this is an insurmountable lead right now. Froppy with their third. Is that what I'm reading? I believe Froppy is. Um, I'm not 100% sure if Froppy is third at the moment. But. Oh, he meant his third goal, I believe. Oh, it's his third goal. I thought you meant like third on the scoreboard. I'm like, no, he's been doing oh, some no, stuff. Oh, no, no, no. 
<laughs> uh, but um, third goal, I think he might be right there. GCU. Yeah, three goal, third. Lead. Wow, three shots, three goals. My goodness, Ooh. shooting 100 right now. But hey, Melodic, I was about to say, if you're talking about shots attempted and goals and whatnot, Melodic only with uh, sing or what second uh, shot attempted right here. That's going to be good enough to buy a little bit of wiggle room for Southern Miss. Like at this point, if you're down three. by three, it's literally just pour everything into offense. But 42 seconds is plenty of time to play with on two goals. Yeah, 42 seconds. You should have some time here, but you are going to need a bit of a change of pace in terms of your offensive ability. You see, it's just like kind of stalling out on the GCU side whenever they have the offense. GCU is just playing that rotation pretty properly. A bit of a back from Super Steve. Nothing that Nando can handle. Gets bumped though onto the side while going to give Zach <laughs> a lot of time. Super Big Steve, instant challenge, looking confident. 17 seconds left. A coming out from a lot of might be a pinch high. Needs the bump from Nando. Nando though able to keep possession, and that should be the dagger for Southern Miss. Not in the series, but at least for this game. Or two for GCU off of game three is going to be a good Ooh, possession. Close almost save, <laughs> almost changing that to four three. Nando super big Steve just messing around, and this is a win for GCU. No matter how you're going to cut it. Yeah, and uh, what, the first time we don't see an overtime in this series so far, it continually, <laughs> even series continues as of right now. Ball still technically held a lot. There you go. Can't get two of them in a single uh, overtime situation, though. GCU takes their first. We see yeah. they're going to have to do it not once but twice here against Southern Miss. We'll see how this one shakes out after the lead has been gained for Southern Miss, but a factor now scored back for the side of Grand Canyon University. And it's possible that changing those servers, as soon as I say that, GCU Whoa. still scores. Okay. Changing those servers for Southern Miss might not be that important. They are in the central part of the United States right now, so they're going to be looking on those servers, you know, Dallas, Central U.S. Mm -hmm. And it looks like GCU, though, doesn't really mind that ping difference. Able to get that first goal immediately, less than fifteen seconds into this. Kickoff going into the sidewall left. Super Big Steve able to take that possession up in the air. Trying to get that over one. A little bit of a flick. Not able to get past Zath. And now it's Melodic on his own possession. Can we see a bit more of a pop-up? Okay. Roppy shutting that nice. down instantly. Yeah, a great job of, of watching this unfold. Uh, this is exactly the situation that Grand Canyon University held Melodic to in the in the last game here in game number three. Uh, recreating this situation is what is going to pay the bills. Really now Zath trying to get... It's going to be low for Oppy. Keeping that all alive for Southern Miss just a little bit. That stalls out to the left. Now Belotic, maybe the double tap, maybe the dunk. That's super close. Still feeling it, though. Still feeling that confidence. It's exactly what you want to see, even after losing that first match against GCU. Zach on the air with 50. It's going to have to be Astro, though, to take this onto the other side. Gets it as well. It's going to the side ball. Melodic, a little bit of possession, a bit of an awkward touch. Try to go for the musty was just not in the right position for it. Still in the corner, now trying to be moved towards Southern Miss side on the side wall. It might be Melodic. Melodic trying to go for the flip reset. Maybe over one almost dunked into the corner. Nando, last second save, pinches it off his own crossfire. That's going to be towards the net again, but shouldn't be on. They might have a bit of time. Nando, that's a really great hit, actually. Just hitting that high, taking that possession, taking the high hit. Make this a bit awkward for Southern oh. Miss to really do much. Now that 50, Zath trying to get this center. Might be a shot rolling up the wall. Nando's going to take it. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Speaking of, Nando, this is not quite on point, but Astro reads it regardless, gets the uh, ward for the save. Two minutes into this one, uh, what is possibly the lowest scoring affair being cooked up right now here in game number four. Southern Miss needs two of them to come back and close this series out. Grand Canyon would be happy to end it right here. The big Steve with the redirect, Zach. <laughs> Beautiful read, but it wasn't enough. Nando able to put in that second goal for GCU. A beautiful little play coming out from GCU. Seeing all those, all those members of the team getting involved with that offensive play. Exactly what you want to see. Get a bit creative. Get a bit risky. Yep. You know, I mean, exactly. you are still down in this series, so might as well just go for it, right? Yeah, just throw it again, throw it against the wall and see what happens. But there's also a factor of kind of playing what is comforting to you and what you're experienced with up to that point. Uh, so far, that is working out for Grand Canyon University as, uh, as uh, we, I mean, 
Halftime now, I would be surprised, but we're staring down the barrel of what is possibly our first shutdown type situation in quite a while. What, since the very first University of Michigan game against St. Clair Saints, that was a 6-0 in their first game of that series. That was a close little redirect coming out from GCU. They're still looking good on that offense. They've definitely changed something, trying to get all three men involved in the play. Froppy, a bit of a miss, but a miss from Southern Miss as well. Gonna give them a bit of time right here. Zath in his own corner. Now trying to get that pinch to the midfield. It's gonna be Froppy though with the instant response on his own side. Demos coming out from Melodic. Melodic just going for everyone right now. Super Big C, last one on the field. Should be respawns though, hopefully off the backboard. This might be a good shot opportunity. Oh my goodness, a beautiful save coming out from Super Big Steve and almost in for Southern Miss. I read it like a book, like the author, checked it out from the library, chapter a night for bed. That was almost perfect right there. And everything came together for Southern Miss until the defense had something to say about it. 90 seconds to go, two scores down. Gotta be feeling like the effects of a two score lead <laughs> that was squandered, especially now that they're 2 0 down in game number four. Uh, 113 left on the clock, definitely still possible for Southern Miss, but the way right now that they're looking on those clears in the midfield, it might not be as possible as you think. Nando, a little bit of a double commit coming out from GCU, and Southern Miss capitalized upon that mistake, a pinch or a little bit of a redirect, I mean, towards the middle, but that second man's too far back to really sustain that offense. Robbie has a good, decent clear, gonna sustain it, maybe a double, maybe super big Steve coming in for the shot. He wasn't able to put it on net, but the pressure is mounting here on the Southern Miss side. Speaking of, ah, oh, Robbie yep. interrupting the hopes and dreams. That's gonna be the third, was probably the nail in the coffin of this game number four. I mean, it's, it's a hard position to be in, right? Nando just has that open net and Southern Miss, I feel like they're they're kind of losing grasp of the gas, right? They're, they're laying their foot off the gas. They're not playing that aggressive second man that you saw before where Melodic would just come in off of the rebound and just take a shot, almost another one. Super big Steve able to put in the fourth to end this game four for them, or at least basically end it. They do have 29 seconds. Yeah, uh, 30 seconds, four scores. Uh, I don't want to give false hope here, people, especially the way the GCU has been playing shutdown offense thus far. If you're Southern Miss, you know, give it your all, but uh, you need to take that time in between just mentally reset. I don't want to. I don't want to curse them yet, right? But GCU, this is still. They still have not found a series win yet. Hopefully, they'll be able to figure out how to turn this into their first series win here. NECC and a shot coming out from okay. Southern Miss. Well, seconds left. Maybe something. Maybe some kickoff uh, stuff. I have no idea. <laughs> the three score. Or what? Uh, score every four seconds. Yeah. Uh, again, that that would that would have to require GCU to put the controllers down, and that's just well, for watch a this. Then. Watch this time. <laughs> kickoff. Kickoff. Right. They're gonna fake it to the back left. Right. Oh nope. Uh, <laughs> that's that's enough time that's burned off. This. <laughs> Yeah, this game is effectively over. Uh, a great job from Southern Miss. Th this is more of like a mentality kind of thing. Uh, I can't really call momentum, but at least mentality. Uh, a you know, really nice second shot right there from Melodic, but they don't put up a goose egg. And that's always so hard to pull off. And now we see you in this game number five, or at least I believe it's game number five. Four fifty-six left. It, it is. It is. And a flip reset into the middle of the field. Almost a redirect miss from both sides. Zath able to take that up into the air. Trying to keep this close. It's going to be super big Steve pounding that in. It rolls up the wall. Melodic able to take that possession. Floppy now. Getting that back to the right wall. And it's going to be Nando possibly with the score now. A good opportunity for Southern Miss. Turning this around instantly. Exactly what you want to see. Those fast counterattacks. That's going to be how you're going to beat GCU here. Shut out. That reverse sweep. This could be an open net. No one's going to be back. Melodic comes for that challenge to the midfield and hits it. Still 0-0 on the clock. There you go. Until Melodic picked up this big boost, I don't think anybody on this board had more than like 20 or 30 boosts because everybody burned everything to try and get what looked like a great scoring position for Southern Miss. As it is, a little bit of uh, effort Ooh. the other way. And, man, oh man, Melodic goes for a demo instead of covering net right here. That, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a really, that's, that's a really crazy play. <laughs> Oh no, excuse me, I, I, said, I said that backwards right here. Yeah, so 
So Defender gets destroyed. That was a fantastic play for Melodic. I'm so sorry. I, I, I said that completely backwards. Just got my colors mixed up. Man, I thought you said that correctly. Whoa. I thought he put that on net as well. That was a close shot from GCU. Coming out right there. Almost putting off the kickoff. That has been their strength this series. It's really playing off of the kickoff rebound. That's kind of been how they've been operating their offense, but it's not going to help on the defense much. Astro, light touch, puts in the floater into the net. Melodic, good pass to the mid, and Astro's just up. He did, I don't think he expected to hit it that way, but no one else on GCU did either. 2-0 for Southern Miss. Insurance goal purchased here from Southern Miss. They got the policy going early. <laughs> Four different players gotta just put this up in the middle and everybody whips at it, but th th this is the worst possible situation here for Grand Canyon University. They, they did do essentially what they were doing in previous games, games that found them lots of uh, advantage and stuff, but now Southern Miss is just passing this ball around and putting point after point after point on the board. Uh, you know what? I'll be honest. I had a lot of faith in GCU. They came back and started playing super well, but now with 3-0 against Southern Miss, Barely a minute 30 off the clock. This is looking this is looking tough for GCU. And it feels like even though they're doing everything right, sometimes they will just lose. But that's almost a shot on net. Gonna be a bit too high. Astro with the save from Southern Miss. Now back on the immediate offense. A fake up and a oh, oh my goodness. It's always melodic time right here. Singing with the ball, right? And now a fake musty into the ground pitch under. Oh my goodness. Is is oh I don't <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to get mustied, and, and Melodic literally just used that fear of, like, you getting the clip made of you to, to go forth and really sell this fake, put the fourth on the board. Uh, we were talking, like, 30 seconds last time about nails in coffin. That conversation could be had right now after we are witnessing a very unfortunate just collapse of GCU. Um, on both sides of the ball, yes, but more so on offense, and there's on think... defense. Yeah. Fourth shot, third goal, Astro. I don't think this game is winnable after that one. Super Big Steve is in an awkward position, tries to get the hit mid. Ondo really didn't read that. He was kind of hoping either for a lot, a full loss from Super Big Steve or something going forward, and it was really neither. And so GCU now trying to figure out what they can do to bring back this game, but a 5-0 lead from Southern Miss. They never let those first two games get to them. They're still playing strong. Fantastic second jump there for Zath as the pressure continues for Southern Miss against Grand Canyon University. Almost gets this one past a little half flip here from Zath to at least challenge the defender and make him really earn that possession. As it is, this is, yeah, my goodness, the continued offensive pressure right here. Every, like, Southern Miss players just simply burst the ball every single time. Uh, they might take it out and then just immediate answer, flip oh reset. That's going to be just a little bit out to the outside on that one. No real danger doesn't mean it didn't look good. This melodic guy is honestly kind of cracked. I'm not going to lie. Like, some of these plays that he's going for are just real. They're just, like... They're good, like they're good attempts, especially like on the foot resets, on that fake musty, especially. Oh, that was a beautiful goal. Super big Steve though, okay. making this a bit of a different game than what we expected. One goal for GCU. Yeah, so this is gonna be uh, no no shutdowns, no no absolute sweeps. Now a four score difference is rather large. Uh, like I always like to say, you know, whatever the scoreline is coming into halftime, it was 5-0, can be undone in the second half. Well, is that the first step here for GCU, or is this just going to be the slow crawl to despair, destruction, and another match loss? This squad out of Colorado. GCU is in Arizona, Grand Canyon University. Oh, no way. But... <laughs> As I was saying that, dude, I was... Yep, they sure, they sure are. Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Hate to see it. Hate I was just like, it. surely he's going to say Arizona. Like, As I was saying out loud, I was like, hang on. I was like, he's surely going to say it is Arizona. Then he said Colorado. I was like, oh, no. I don't want to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You, hey, when you're right, you're right, bud. <laughs> uh, it happened. It happens to the best of us, you know. And GCU, right, they might as well... Back up to Colorado after this one. They got to learn how to play a bit faster in the air. It looks like they're getting shut down, especially a lot on their aerial attacks. They do have a stronger ground game 
you really look at it, but it's just like, it's really hard to convert um, into like those offensive pressure situations when you're in GCU's type of situation, right? You're down four goals. Southern Miss is just going to insta-challenge you every time. Boost our view and then just don't let you have time on the ball. And that's exactly the strategy they need. There's that sixth goal. Exactly. Almost yep. saved Froppy, I believe. Or, or was it Froppy? I'm pretty sure. No, Froppy is the one who got demo. Yeah, that makes yeah. more sense. Uh, almost saved anyways. 1-6 on the verge of the Brazil. Southern Miss looking like they're going to be cleaning up this game. Yeah, 45 seconds to go. Again, Herculean efforts required here for GCU to bring this one back. Decent little start. That's going to hit the defender, but Zatsk is going to be able to avoid any kind of collision, get in position, and defend this one away. We are officially in garbage time. Uh, goal every five seconds ain't going to happen for Grand Canyon University, unfortunately, uh, outside of uh, you know, the craziest Rocket League we've ever seen. Waste time situations here for Southern Miss. This is a pinch play against the bottom and the seventh here coming for Southern Miss. There's the Brazil shutting it out. And this game is going to be impossible to win, as you said, for GCU. Um, and it's just it's so hard to pinpoint exactly what miles an hour. Going. Good God. 80 miles, really? Wow, that was crazy. 80 miles an hour, that's what uh, said down the bottom, off the redirect. I, I, that's insane, honestly. Um, but GCU, it's hard to pinpoint what, what really went wrong with this team. It looks like they were playing the good fundamentals, but Southern Miss just like came back and said, oh yeah, we're Southern Miss. We can just like go for crazy plays and just score them. And it, uh, I don't know, it's, it's hard because this is GCU's now sixth loss in NECC, and that's just, it's so tough for a team regardless of any caliber to just go through such a rough season yeah. like that. 100% uh, agreed. 100% agreed. Uh, uh, you know, they've definitely taken plenty of maps off. What? Uh, they've only been swept once, and that was against Maryville, a situation that...